Hi everyone, I'm back today with another video and today's video is on chemical tests. It's quite a strange video, it's not really about explaining anything, it's basically more of a summary of all the various tests and the results that you need to be able to provide in your chemistry exam. So the tests I'm going to talk you through are the test for hydrogen, the test for oxygen, the test for carbon dioxide, ammonia, water and chlorine. So, let's begin with the ones which involve a splint. Remember a splint is just a little wooden stick which you can light. So first up is hydrogen. Now people often write the squeaky pop test and that's wrong, you have to provide a sensible answer. And remember what you're doing in this case is you're getting a lit splint, so one that has a flame. You're going to hold it over the unknown gas and if you hear a squeaky pop that confirms that the gas is hydrogen. In terms of the words you actually need to provide in the exam, just write these simple words. You need to write that a lit splint pops in the presence of hydrogen. Next up we have oxygen. We're going to take a splint again, but rather than keeping it lit, what we're going to do is blow it out and so that you can just see the burning ember, so we call it a glowing splint. What happens if you hold it in oxygen gas is that the splint will relight, so you'll see a flame reformed. In terms of your perfect wording for your exam question, you're just going to write a glowing splint relights in the presence of oxygen. Next up, I'm going to take carbon dioxide. Now this time we're not using splints, we're going to use lime water. And lime water turns cloudy or milky in the presence of carbon dioxide, and there's your perfect answer. Next up is chlorine gas, remember it's that poison, poisonous halogen gas. And what happens is that chlorine will bleach damp litmus paper, and there tends to be two marks available for that. The first mark will be for saying damp litmus paper and the second mark for saying that it will be bleached by chlorine. Now we need to talk about ammonia. With ammonia just remember that damp red litmus paper turns blue in the presence of ammonia. And lastly, this is a really nice quick video, we're going to look at water. Remember with water that blue cobalt chloride paper turns white in the presence of water and there's a second test you need to know which is that white anhydrous copper sulphate turns blue. They're quite tricky. I don't like the water test, I like everything else, but I think the water test is quite difficult. So yeah, really quick video. I've tried to give you the perfect wording so you can make sure that you score the maximum number of points in the exam. And I'll be back soon again with another video, so see you then. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my videos and leave me any comments and requests below.